the news headlines. This week, Parliament approved a measure to expand the mobilization of the Canadian Armed Forces as the country repositions itself on a wartime footing. On the European war front, Leningrad is now totally under siege by the German army. It looks like Adolf Hitler is trying to starve the Russians into submission. In China, the Japanese Imperial Army faces stubborn Chinese resistance in their fight over the capital of Hunan province. In other news, the British passenger ship Empire Eland was torpedoed and sunk in the Atlantic Ocean by a German submarine. There are no reports of any survivors. In London, Winston Churchill gave a speech regarding the war. Have you had any updates about your deployment to Hong Kong? <clears throat> I met with the unit's colonel yesterday. Our troop ship's going to depart Vancouver October 25th. Do you really have to go? You... You could get a desk job in Ottawa. Deployment's only going to be six months. Maybe a year. Hey, look, at least I'm not being sent to Europe. That's where the real fighting is. Yeah, but there are rumors that the Japanese are going to attack Hong Kong. Yeah, but they're not. Attacking the British would be foolish. Besides, Japan is bogged down in China. So, no Christmas was my big soldier, huh? <laughs> Not this year. But I promise next year, we can go cross-country skiing in Banff. Mm -hmm. You can stay at the Fairmont Hotel. <gasps> but just be careful out there. I, I want you to come home and keep all your promises. Welcome to the Royal Hotel. How may I be of service? Uh, I want you to know if this hotel has good privacy. I understand, sir. Well, we do have quite a reputable collection of human curiosities here at this establishment. Journalists, businessmen, diplomats, military officers, of course, and um, maybe a few mistresses. Do you require a room for one or two people, sir? Actually, two people, myself and... Uh, a special friend? Yes, right. You understand. Yes, sir. And uh, do you need the room short term or long term? Maybe a week. You might see a new relationship. We do charge double the normal rate for short term stays, sir. May I suggest a one-month stay would be a much better deal for you. Okay, put me down for one month. Excellent. Well, I have room 205 ready and available for you, sir. Enjoy your stay at the Royal. Your comfort and privacy is all part of our regal service. Thank you. I, I have a reservation under Tom Myers. Ah, you must be one of our new Canadian arrivals. Yes, our uh, ship docked this morning. Well, welcome to the Royal Hotel. Uh, let me just check your reservation. Ah, yes, we have your uh, reservation here. It seems they must have run out of room at the barracks, sir, uh, as we have a couple of other Canadian officers staying here. I guess it's my lucky day then. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, miss, uh, you have a letter? Just 
There you are. Thank you, Chen Mei. You're welcome. Any phone calls for me today? Uh, not today, miss. Thank you. Sorry for that disruption, sir. We have room 212 <clears throat> ready and available for you. Um, do you need the services of a bellboy? Uh, no, I can handle things. Okay. There you go, sir. Enjoy your stay at the bar. Thank you. Hello, this is Royal Hotel. How may I place your call? Okay, just a second. I'll patch you through room 109. Hello, this is Royal Hotel. How may I place your call? Okay, just a moment. Hello, this is the Royal Hotel switchboard operator. I have a call for Mr. Mac in room 303 for uh, Peninsula Hotel. Okay. Sir, you are now connected to room 303 at Peninsula Hotel. Hello, how may I place your call? Just a second. Hello, sir, I've put you through room 202. It's been like this all day, call after call. Is that the latest batch of mail? Yeah, that's the latest batch. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? It's been three years since the fighting in Shanghai. It's highly doubtful that your parents survived. Until I know the truth, I will keep looking for them. Ah, you're gonna love this. Latest batch for the post office. <sighs> Looks like I'm not leaving tonight. Hello, this is Royal Hotel. How may I place your call? Okay. One second. Please, come in. Am I too early? No, of course not. Please, take a seat. Can I interest you in a glass of whiskey? No, thank you. I'll toast for the both of us then. This interview will be kept off the record. Background use only. Fully off the record, right? Yes. There are rumors circling the KMT that the Japanese are building their forces in Canton. Do you have any comment about this? The Japanese are fighting the nationalist and communist armies on multiple fronts. It's possible the Japanese want to hit deeper into China. Where do you source these rumors? I have my sources. So you are not worried that the additional Japanese troops might be used on an attack on Hong Kong? We take the repositioning of any Japanese troops seriously. But the fact remains that the Japanese are fully bogged down in China. It, it doesn't make any military sense for them to open up another front and attack a peaceful British colony. 
But according to my sources, the Japanese landed over 10,000 more troops last month alone. My intel numbers say differently, but I can't discuss them. And if my sources are correct, the Japanese could completely overwhelm your defense lines. As I said, it's unlikely the Japanese will open up another front. So you were not worried about an attack on Hong Kong? We're prepared for anything. A contingent of over 2,000 Canadian troops arrived today in Hong Kong. We're planning for any contingency when it comes to the Japanese. And tell me, why did the British military openly announce the Canadians' arrival? Was that a message for the Japanese? Hopefully, it'll make them think twice. Be sure to include those numbers in your article. So, I hear you're staying at the Royal Hotel. Yes, I am. I saw several Canadian soldiers check in there today. Well, unfortunately, the barracks in Sham Shui Po are a little crowded. We decided to billet some of the officers elsewhere. <laughs> of course. Nothing like being dropped knee-deep in a nest full of refugees, thugs, and spies now, huh? <laughs> well, we did warn them about that. Well, thank you for coming in. Good day. Ah, oh, good evening, madam. How can I help you? I would like to inquire if you might have a room available. Yes, madam, we do. Good, good. You see, the trouble is I'm a bit short on Hong Kong dollars. But I do have currency from my homeland. I know that the exchange rate might not be the most favorable at this hotel, but I'd be most indebted to you if you would be so kind as to help me in this matter. This is Hungarian currency, madam. Yes, I know. I emigrated from Budapest. The war in Europe forced me to leave. I don't have Hong Kong dollars. Might you have another currency, madam? No. These Hungarian pangos are all that I have. I am sorry, madam, but we cannot accept this as payment. Could you not make an exception in my case? This is a real currency from a great country. I am sorry, madam, but uh, these banknotes are basically worthless in Hong Kong. Jackie is in room 214. Let me patch you up to him. Hello, this is Royal Hotel. How may I please your call? Here you go, sir. Thank you very much. Hungry? <sighs> yeah, a little bit. Thank you. By the way, hmm. what are you doing for Christmas? Um, serving guests, running errands, nothing much planned. Hmm. Oh, you know, I, um, because I, I was going to... What? Are you asking me to spend Christmas with you? If you have nothing else to do. <laughs> Bow 
family. We're both war refugees living in this hotel. We have no family, no encumbrances. So yes, I would very much love to spend the Christmas with you. Great. Uh, that's great. You want to do anything special? Mm. Actually, I have never celebrated Christmas before. Do they have dances like I see in the movies? <laughs> Actually, Christmas is really about spending time with family and eating a lot of food. Oh. So, that's a Chinese holiday. Well, they also exchange a lot of gifts. Uh... That's why Christmas is so popular. Is this the mail room? Yes, it is. How may I help you? I would like to send this letter to Chongqing. Is it possible? Well, yes, it's possible. I can help you. Mail service these days is very slow and expensive. Do you have the right postage? Yes, that's enough postage. Mail flight leaves once a week. Is it urgent? Just a personal letter to my parents. Oh. It, it should get there in time. As long as you have to write a dress. Hopefully they haven't moved. Hard to tell during these war times. I like your dress. I've seen you around the hotel a lot. Thank you. Lily. For all your hard work. At least she has a family address. <clears throat> Sergeant Tom Myers from the Winnipeg Grenadiers recon team reporting for duty, sir. Ah, welcome to Hong Kong, Sergeant. I hope you didn't suffer too much seasickness on the voyage across the Pacific. In top shape. Three weeks at sea. It's all part of the conditioning, sir. Hmm. Well, from what I've seen, the Canadian troops could do with a lot more training. These Japs have been in the war for years. They're battle-hardened, well-conditioned, and experienced. Understood, sir. But we won't let you down. Hmm. Now, there are two mindsets as to what can happen here in Hong Kong. The first is that the Japanese will not attack the colony. If that's the case, we have nothing to fear. Life will go on as usual. That's what I read back home in the newspaper, sir. Yes, and that's what many people here think as well. But there are rumors that the Japanese might launch a surprise attack. If that were the case, effectively, it would be almost impossible to defend the colony. What do you think will happen, sir? Well, I have my doubts that the Japanese will attack. But still, our jobs are to prepare for a possible invasion. Now, let me give you a quick briefing. <clears throat> You see this area here? That's our first main defensive line, the Gin Drinkers Line. A series of fortifications that run along these ridge lines close to the Chinese border. Now, if the Japs break through this line, effectively, the Kowloon Peninsula would fall. We would be trapped here on Hong Kong Island, under siege with very little food or water. But would the British Royal Navy not resupply us from the seas? Well, yes, that's the hope. But we only have a few battleships here in the Pacific. Most of the Royal Navy are on the European front. I see. The situation is far more precarious than I originally thought. Look, keep this to yourself, but hopefully the Japanese won't attack, as it would cause quite a backlash with the international community. 
The Americans have already imposed sanctions for war atrocities in Asia. Uh, hopefully, the Japanese won't want to escalate tensions any further. Understood. Let's hope so. Hotel hallway, and I believe that our rooms are on the same floor. My name is Mr. Chung. So, what brings you to Hong Kong, Mr. Chung? I'm a businessman, trader, import, export. Everybody does that around here. A bit boring, wouldn't you say? <laughs> but profitable. <laughs> Ah, you're one of those. A profiteer. Ah, uh, now, please don't judge. War is what it is. And for an enterprising person, I see no reason why he should waste his talents when opportunities arise. Even in times like these. Ah, I see. So while a few find it in themselves to benefit, so many others suffer. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Mm. Why is it that a beautiful woman like yourself is sitting alone at the Royal? You don't recognize me, Mr. Chen. Have we met before? <laughs> I'm an actress. I used to work in Shanghai at a movie studio. I've made quite a few films. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> it's all right. I was never the lead. I figured the Royal would be the best place to meet a movie producer, get my career back on track. Hmm. Maybe I can help. Do you know any movie producers, Mr. Chung? A few, in fact. <laughs> All right, I must be off. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> uh, I have a Uh, perhaps a drink another time. If the war doesn't get to us first. Five dollars back. No, I need to clean up a bit. Less alcohol, less women. I suppose if we do die tomorrow, it doesn't really matter. Well, I hope somebody remembers us. Dust off our graves. Our names etched in stone. Maybe that's what we leave behind. It's our names. It's a simple reminder that we gave our future for their tomorrow. Come on, one more game. Then we call it a night.
Good evening, sir. How can I help you? I was just wondering the procedure for placing a telephone call to Canada. Rather difficult, sir. Is this to be a business or a personal call? Personal. Uh, it's to my wife in Winnipeg. I see. Well, as you can imagine, most overseas calls are reserved for the military and imported businesses. In addition, you would need to get approval uh, due to security reasons, and this normally takes a day or two. If your request is actually granted, it might take another 24 hours to actually place the call, depending on overseas telephone traffic. And now, mind you, there are no guarantees you will be able to hear much, as many times the telephone lines are full of noise and static that you may not hear clearly at all. And finally, there is the issue of payment. The uh, hotel requires a $12 deposit for a three-minute call, as that is the standard rate for North America. $12? I'm afraid so, sir. But that's a week's salary. Maybe sending a letter would be a better option. Yeah, I guess so. Our mail room is on the first floor by the stairway, and you can buy postage stamps from there. Just arrived yesterday. I smuggled through the Sanjin border. It was difficult, very difficult. How? Three years ago in Shanghai. You made it out of Shanghai alive. And then I went over to Nanjing and I headed over to Canton a year later. It's a miracle to see you here. All the streets like this. Lily, I saw his sister last week. What? Edna. She's alive. Yes, I saw her in Canton last week. Oh my god. My god. My sister. Do you have a dress? No. She was moving through the city with thousands of other refugees. I think they were heading for Chongqing. Did she mention anything about our parents? You didn't know? What happened in Shanghai? Please, I just need to know the truth. They died in a bombing. The house collapsed under a Japanese bomb. Your sister escaped with minor injuries, but your parents, they were killed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We all have lost family and friends in this terrible, terrible war. At least I saw your sister, she looks healthy. How can I find her? How can I make contact with her? I don't know. I just saw her across the border somewhere. No address. Well. Well, at least she's alive. Alive? <laughs> yes. But I have to go. My ship's leaving for Singapore in a bit. Why? Stay here with me. Have dinner with me. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to go. There are certainly so many ships leaving Hong Kong these days. Hong Kong's not safe anymore. It could be targeted for Japanese occupation or even worse. How can I reach you? Do you have an address? Hopefully we can reconnect after this war. I have to go.
Are you okay? I didn't expect them to use a knife. They're cowards. What do they want? What happened? I don't know. They just attacked me. Aren't you staying at the Royal Hotel? Yes. Should we go to the police? No. No, that'll take too much time. But, but, could you walk me back to the hotel? Sure. I could use a stiff whiskey. Me too. Oh, darling. I wonder what your days are like. Hong Kong's so far away. I've written each week, but I wonder if my letters do reach you. The mail service to Asia is dreadful, and each morning I spring open the letterbox and still there's nothing from you. I wonder which way the mail reaches you in Asia, from the east or maybe from the west. The thought of spending Christmas apart is dreadful. Please, please stay safe, darling. Oh. And I have some big news. Is that what I think it is? Shit, they're so close. This right here is the Chinese border. At least this ridge gives us a good view of their activities. This is basically the front line. Just a bit of muddy swampland between us and those Japs. Has there been any unusual movements? Troop buildup? Any activities? No, it's been quite quiet down there, apart from the occasional rifle shot for target practice. How much further to the bunker? Just 200 meters down this trail. All right, let's keep moving. I used to love hiking with my father. What, back in Canada? Yeah. He used to love to go camping. You know, one day, I went to get some water about uh, in the stream about half a mile away from the camp. As I got close to the stream, I remember I heard this rustling in the bushes. Instinctively, I knew it was a bear. It was this big grizzly, mad as hell. Without hesitation, it charged at me. I remember my hand shaking as I stared down the barrel of the gun, straight into its angry black eyes. I waited, waited for the bear to get close enough. When it was about 15 feet away, I pulled the trigger. Nothing. The gun had jammed. But the bear had stopped about six feet away. And it seemed like forever as we just stared at each other, both standing on the same trail. <laughs> then with this big old snort, the bear turned its massive body back into the bushes. It was over. Father, so fragile and scared. The bear could have ripped me in half that day. But I guess it wasn't my day to die. I retreated back to the campsite, and when I got there, I <laughs> cleaned and oiled my gun to perfection. I guess I learned that day you can never be too prepared for a fight. 
could have pissed my pants. I think I did. <laughs> so how did you get into the British Army? Well, kind of like you, I was uh, recruited in Bombay and uh, my father served with the British Army during the Great War. I'm a family man and being a soldier brings a good steady paycheck. Damn. You look young to be a father. He's the reason why I serve. How old is he? Almost four years old now. Happy looking guy, don't you think? Looks like a rabble rouser to me. <laughs> I've never actually seen him. I was uh, moved to Hong Kong before he was born. They're back in Bombay? I'll be back soon. My four years are almost over. I'm sure it'll be a massive celebration. I'd love to be a father. Let's hope those Japs don't have other plans, huh? Boys. Trust you, Baba. Smells good. Thank you. Place it on the table, please. Uh, would that be all, Mari? Yes, that should do it. Here you go. Thank you, Mari. You're welcome. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Actually... Yes, madam? I do have one more request. How would your sister even know you're working at the Royal? Mm, maybe she's run into somebody on the street and they remember me working here? Possible, I guess. Hey, look. Hope is all I've got. Without it, I have nothing. Nothing. boss would give us a little time off for Christmas? I don't know. Christmas is a pretty busy year. We probably need all hands on deck for things to run smoothly. Oh, I hate to think that we're gonna have to spend a Christmas in this mail room. Well, we'll see what happens. What's that? What room is above us? Room 208. That's Mei Ling's room. Ah! Sounds like she's conducting a job interview with the movie producer. Uh -huh. I have a call. Ah! Hello, this is Royal Hotel. How may I help? Yes, Miss Murray, I... I understand. We are looking at a situation right now. Yes, I know, this is very immoral, and we do not condone this. Yes, of course. 
Can you give me a minute? I have another call coming in. Yes, we're gonna find someone to fix it. Please give me a second, I have another call. How is this where I'll Yes, you're not the only one. Can you give me a minute? I have another call coming in. HQ, hello? Uh, Colonel, it's for you. Yes? Speaking? What? What? This is unbelievable! Look, we need those trucks and personnel carriers. What? How are you supposed to operate without them? Look, what do you want my troops to do? Ride horses to the battlefront? This is not the Great War. This is unbelievable. The Japanese have mechanized divisions. They have mobile artillery. They have tanks. <sighs> yes, well, someone in Ottawa should have their head cut off. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Sorry. San Jose is floating somewhere in the Pacific. The supply ship for the Canadian troops. They estimate a late arrival. Sometime in mid-December. Bloody incompetence! Here's the latest batch of mail. Enjoy. Oh, I could barely keep up. It was crazy last night. Yeah. Yeah, there were quite a few cancellations this morning. I guess some of our guests just don't think our hotel is up to their standard. Maybe it's because sometimes this place feels like a bordello. Bordello? Yeah. What does that mean? A bordello means whorehouse, you dummy. Bordello, whorehouse, brothel, they all mean the same thing. Didn't you hear the woman last night? <laughs> that was funny. Come on in. Hello, is this the mail room? Yes, sir. How may I help you? Well, I, I haven't received any of my mail from my wife back in Canada. And I've been here three weeks now. I just wanted to make sure my mail was getting through to me. Airmail service to Hong Kong is really slow. Letters from Canada or United States typically arrive around one to two months late. When you do get a letter, though, I'll make sure you get it. OK. It's just I'm really anxious. You see, I haven't heard anything from my wife back in Canada. What's your name? Uh, Tom Myers, room 205. OK, I'll keep an eye out for any letters addressed to you. If you do get it, I'll make sure the bellboy gets it to you, personally. OK, thank you. Much appreciated. It must be so hard on these young men being away from home. Not hearing from their friends and family for months. Well, since you seem to go through the mailing first, want to keep an eye out for Tom's letters? Messages for me. Let me just check. 
Oh, I'm sorry to inform you, but there are no messages for you today. Fine. Hello? Yes. He's coming. I have a suggestion, uh, Mrs. Lee. Uh, there's a very nice, very popular cafeteria across the road. Good evening, Mei Ling. Mr. Chung, how's business? Just finishing up for tonight. Mm. And you, are you going somewhere? <laughs> no, in fact, I'm coming back from a party at the Foreign Correspondence Club. They serve a wicked martini. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little bit tipsy at the moment. I was just heading downstairs to try to find a hotel member to help me hang my painting I purchased today. Really? A painting? Yes. Maybe I can be of help. Oh. Well, sure, if you have a moment. I purchased it from a family that lives on the peak. They're leaving Hong Kong, selling everything. Hmm. You should have seen the view from their apartment. It was gorgeous. Well, shall we have a look? Mm, absolutely. Oh. It's, uh, stunning. <laughs> So, where would you like it? I want them right above my bed. Um, how about here? Uh, a little higher. Okay. How about here? Yes, that's perfect. But you know what? Let's hmm. deal with it later. You can leave them on the bed for now. Okay. I have an idea. Mm. I propose that we toast to your amazing purchase tonight. I agree. Mm. Ah, uh, to the newest member of the Association of War Profiteers, the stunning <laughs> Miss Mei Ling. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, do you have another bottle? No. Unfortunately, I finished that last night. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me call downstairs and get them to bring up another one. Yeah. Operator? Hello? Operator? Hello? Hello? Strange. Uh, the phone system. It seems to be down. Oh. Not to worry. I will go down myself and get us some more. Great. But don't be late. Or I just might change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, Mr. Chang, good evening. How can I help? I would like a bottle of your best whiskey sent to room 208. Um, if I remember correctly, your room is 207. Uh, no, no, room 208. Uh, we're, we're having a bit of a party there. Okay, room 208. Okay, uh, Mr. Chang, mm. um, I have a small request. You see, we are trying to run a respectable establishment here. I don't really know how to phrase this, but um, we seem to have had a bit of a disturbance last night. It woke up many of our hotel guests. Um, please, could you carry out your activities this evening in a more respectable manner? Tell how may I please your call? <laughs> <laughs> you were so delightful. <laughs> <sighs> you know what I love about this city? Mm. <laughs> it's a conservative city. Mm. With a secret wild side. <laughs> so I've heard. You'll have to introduce me to some of these places. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Chung. <laughs> I think that's impossible. Oh? These clubs, they're not your style. Oh, <laughs> I have to tell you, actually, I'm rather broad-minded. Hmm. What's the uh, terminology? I am uh, forward-thinking, <laughs> you might say. I don't think you fully understand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not being direct enough. Oh, I love it! I love it when a woman takes charge, dominates, lets you know what she likes. I like girls. Women. <laughs> Not men. <laughs> what? <laughs> you must be joking. No. I'm telling the truth, Mr. Chan. Women? are so much better in bed. Being multi-orgasmic and all, women can go on and on and on. Men, you just pop off once and you're done. But, of course, we're going to keep the secret between the two of us. We wouldn't want a scandal to develop now, would we? What would people say? And the fact of you entertaining my bedroom, that would be bad for business. Am I correct? Yes. Yes, I believe you are right. Last night, Mr. Chung. Did you sleep well? I slept fine. Good night, Mr. Chung.
No Japanese troop moving on the border. What are we doing here? Yeah. I don't think we'll ever see any action. I mean, Japanese have all the Chinese territories to conquer and occupy. They don't need Hong Kong. This post is a snooze fest. Yeah. We're sitting here in this port city. And history is just passing us by. <laughs> I mean, your friends and family back home, I mean, do you think they're reading anything about Hong Kong? Uh, nothing. All the big news events, it's all in Europe. <sighs> Headquarters? Yes? Really? Holy smokes. Uh, let me get the colonel. Sir, they've just attacked Pearl Harbor. What? Yes. Yes. A full-scale attack. Right. Has this been confirmed? Yes. God help us. Gentlemen, the Japanese have just attacked Pearl Harbor. Order all the troops in Hong Kong stand to. We interrupt this broadcast for a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor. I repeat, the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor. Moments ago in Washington, President Roosevelt announced that a large force of Japanese bombers and fighter aircraft launched a surprise attack against the naval base in the city of Honolulu. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor means that war has come to the Pacific. Roosevelt will soon be asking Congress for a declaration of war on the nation of Japan. This surprise attack has shocked the United States and the world. More details about the attack on Pearl Harbor will be provided as soon as we receive more information from Washington. Bunker 12 is under fire. Japanese troops reported three miles away near the Shamchun River. What are the estimates? I need to report this to headquarters. Our spotters say five to eight thousand troops. Tanks and personnel carriers are all moving here. To the Shamchun River? Near Golden Hill, sir. Yes, headquarters. This is Liverpool Recon in bunker position 15. Bunker 12 is under heavy sustained fire. I repeat. Bunker 12 is under heavy sustained fire. Sightings of Japanese troops, five to 8,000 strong, crossing the border near Samchuan River. Yes. Also sightings of tanks and armored personnel carriers. The Japanese troops are moving into position towards Golden Hill. I repeat, the Japanese troops are moving into position towards Golden Hill. Over. Is this really happening? War. Yes, sir, if you just give me some... Hello? Shit, I don't know what happened. 
Hello? I think the line's been cut. Are you sure? Shit, the Japanese got the line. They can't be. The Japanese are miles away. No, that's their main base. They may have soldiers up in the hills. And if the line's been cut, that means... They're nearby. Shit, I need to get this mission back to headquarters. Look, I know these hills, I know these trails. I can run down to Bunker 28. I'm sure they have a working phone connection. No, it's a damn dangerous mission, Charlie. So is being holed up in here, sir. If they've cut the line, they must be nearby. I'll move fast. It's gonna be damn hard for them to hit a moving target at night. All right, Charlie. Godspeed. Good luck. Japs! Damn it. What are our options? Two exits, located at the back. But the Japs might have those covered as well. I need to get this message back to headquarters. All right, I'm gonna take my chances. If you guys go out the front and fire towards the Japanese position, it might buy me some time. All right? All right, sir. Good luck. Good luck. Sir, a note for you, sir. Well, sorry that we have to meet in the interrogation room, but the command center is off limits to civilians. No, of course, I understand. As you can imagine, as a journalist, I've been many a crazy place. So, what have you got for me? What is that? It's a map of Hong Kong. With Japanese troop formations and British defense lines on it. Damn. Where did you get this map? A Mr. Chern. He's staying at the Royal Hotel. I believe he will be of interest to you. Who is this Mr. Chen? I don't know. I'm still investigating him myself. How did you get this? I have my methods. Arrest Mr. Chen at the Royal Hotel immediately. Well, thank you. I wonder who you're really working. Communists, the KMT, maybe the Americans. Maybe it's all of the above. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you, Mayday. Hello, Royal Hotel. How may I please your call? Okay, let me patch you through room 220. Hello, Royal Hotel. How may I push your call? Okay, one second. Let me pass you through. 120. This is probably the last mailbag you're gonna get for a while. The Japanese have placed an embargo in this city. All mail service has been suspended. Oh my god. So Hong Kong's totally shut off? Yeah. That's not good. What's in the box? Oh, this is from the tailor shop. It's for you. All right. I do remember placing an order last week. So, are you going to open it? And what? Ruin your Christmas surprise present? Christmas present? It's not for you, silly. Aww. <laughs> Excuse 
me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, one at a time, please, one at a time. Uh, I think you're next. Uh, yes. I need a room for a week, maybe two weeks. I think I know you. You're Mrs. Lang, right? Yes, yes. I used to stay here quite a lot a few years back. I thought I recognized you. So good to see you again. Uh, so, a room for a week, maybe more, huh? That's right. Okay, let me just check. Um, we have the basement room still available. It's rather small, no windows, uh, but at least it's available starting tonight. How much is it? Uh, $5 a night. It's so high. I used to have the grand suite for $3. Uh, it's the war, Mrs. Lung. It's pushing the prices up on everything. I just don't have that kind of money, not anymore. We lost almost everything, but I need a place to stay until I get things sorted. I will put you down uh, for a week at the old rate. Hopefully that will give you enough time to bounce back during these troubled times. Thank you. Thank you. Someday I'll repay your kindness. No fast moves. What's this all about? You're under arrest, Mr. Chang. There must be some kind of mistake. Silence. Save it for your interrogation. Christmas present. Can I open it now? No, silly. You're gonna have to wait. Oh, I can't wait to spend Christmas with you. Me too, Lily. Me too. How could our intelligence agents have missed this? I, I, I don't know, sir. It seems the Japanese have formed main part of the military units deep inside the Canton province, uh, tricking us into thinking that they're going to direct that straight to the KMT. According to these maps, the Japanese are going to drive two main forces right around the gin drinkers line. They'll break right through into Kowloon. I think you're right, sir. Heavy fighting has already broken out in, in Shingwen Redoubt, and according to these notes, 50,000 troops are going to be are going to be engaged in this attack alone. My God, we'll be blown off the Kowloon Peninsula! Uh, with these numbers, sir, uh, gives them a four to one advantage, and, and they have armored divisions. There's no way we can hold the Jin Drinkers line. They're going to flood right into Kowloon. Uh, I don't think we have any choice, sir. I think we have to evacuate right now to Hong Kong Island. Uh, if yes, we don't. Yes. Order a retreat of the troops to Hong Kong Island. They'll have to retrench there, use the harbour itself as a defence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Order Tom's recon team to the eastern part of the island. The Lai Moon Passage is the likely place where the Japs will land on shore to attack the island. Yes, sir. Emergency evacuation. Come in, Eastern Brigade. Come in, Eastern Brigade. This is HQ. An emergency evacuation order. Come in, Eastern Brigade, come in. This is HQ, come in, Eastern Brigade.
too dangerous to go out now. The Japanese are seven miles away. I can't miss this meeting. I'll be back in two hours, all right? Can you at least tell me where you're going? If we were to defeat the Japanese in China, we need more people like him. Don't be late. We must flee to Hong Kong today. And we're not going to miss our boat. Two hours is all I need. I promise. Eastern Brigade, are you there? <coughs> Hello, Eastern Brigade, are you there? Sir, I can't get through to the Eastern Brigade. The line seems to be down. I can't get through. Well, can you patch me through using the West Brigade's lines? No, 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 no. Sir, they don't have a switchboard. Well, isn't there anyone in the Western District that has a working telephone switchboard? The Royal Hotel might have one. If we're lucky, their lines may be working and we can get through to our boys in the east.
Uh, hold, hold on, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to patch you through the, the Eastern Brigade. Is this Eastern Brigade? Good. Connecting to you now, sir. What's happening? Yes, sir. I understand, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What's happening? The Eastern District has lost all connections, and they need to patch through my switchboard because I'm the only one who still has connection to the Repels Bay Ming Chun line. Oh my god! That means the Japanese are just a couple of miles away. I see something. Four o'clock, heading west. Four, five soldiers, halfway up Chipak Hill. You better call it in, see if they might be British. Patch me through to operations. Eastern Quadrant. Liverpool, reporting. Four to five soldiers heading up Chipak Hill. Do we have any boys in this quadrant? Okay, thanks for the confirmation. Yeah, the one of our guys protecting the reservoir over there. Bloody Christ, how are we supposed to fight? We can't even see the damn enemy. Stay alert, guys. It's the enemy you never see that's the most dangerous. Just give me a visual. I want to nail a few of those bastards in the balls. Hello? This is Recon Liverpool. Can anybody hear me? Hello? This is Recon Liverpool. Can anybody hear me? Hello? Hello, anybody there? Can you speak up, please? Lily, can you grab the headset over there? I can't hear what he's talking about. See if you can hear anything. His voice is very faint. 
I'm going to turn to other calls. Okay. Hello? This is the switchboard. Can I help you? <laughs> this is Recon Liverpool. Can anybody hear me? <sighs> Hello? <sighs> yes, yes, um, I can hear you, but you're very faint. This is the Royal Hotel switchboard. Tom! Is that young Canadian soldier Tom? Yes, yes. I can hear you a bit better now. You're breathing strange. Are you hurt? I've been shot. A letter for my wife? Yes, yes, read it to me. My dearest Tom, I wonder what your days are like. Hong Kong is so far away. I have written each week. But I wonder if my letters reach you. The mail service to Asia is dreadfully slow. Each day I spring open the mailbox, but so far nothing from you. I wonder, does the mail reach Asia from the east or maybe the west? I do feel lonely not having you around the house. And the thought of Christmas without you is dreadful. Please, please stay safe, darling. Oh, and I have some good news. You're going to be a father. I went to the doctor yesterday and he told me that I'm two months pregnant. We're going to have our own little family. A father? I'm gonna be your father. Tom. Tom, are you there? Tom? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Lily. Lily, I'm not gonna make it. I'm bleeding too bad. Badly. I need you to do something for me. I need you to write a letter to my wife, Emma. Tell her. Tell her that I'm so happy. About the news of our future child. And tell her that I love her. That I miss her. Oh. T tell her what happened here. So she knows, okay? Yes, I can write the letter. Okay. Uh. What's that? What's that? Is that Christmas music? Yes, we have the radio playing. I'm getting dizzy. It's getting... It's getting hard to focus. Did you turn it up for me? Okay, Tom. Here it is.
this map. Where did you get it? You're running out of time. The city is falling to the Japanese. Soon you will be in an internment camp or your grave. Bullshit. Who is your contact? <laughs> Lieutenant General T. Sakai, commander of the 23rd Japanese Army. Maybe you should talk to him. Oh, almost forgot. Most of your communication lines have been cut. Pity. So, it was your group of saboteurs cutting those lines? Most of them. Except for the ones leading to the Royal Hotel. But the Japanese already know to attack that location too. You British! have always been one step behind. Send some men to the Royal Hotel. Get that switchboard room secured and warn the hotel. I'll deal with you later. Your arrogance has made you blind! <laughs> The lines are going down all over the island. Can you patch me through to the Royal Hotel, please? The Royal Hotel. Yes, correct. Hello, Royal Hotel. How may I place your call? We should be safe here for a while. The Japanese have taken over half the island already. It's only a matter of time before Hong Kong falls completely under the rule. We have to head to the peak tonight. It's safer there. Damn, batteries are dead. Lily, let me show you something.
I too lost somebody. Three years ago. We were married eight months. Then the war came. You should get cleaned up. There's water and a basin.
This morning, another group of 14 Canadian soldiers arrived in Winnipeg after completing their overseas military service. It was a joyous occasion as they stepped off the plane to meet with their friends and family. Now on to other news from around the country. With the war over, the Canadian economy is now booming. Canadian exports of wheat, oil and other commodities are in great demand overseas. With the continued rise of stocks on the Toronto Stock Exchange, business confidence is at all time. Ooh, the mailman. 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 Can you stay here and wait for me? Yeah. Okay, good girl. Let me see. I need mailman. It's the mailman. Can I see? Yes. Okay, you wait here. I'm going to go get... Okay, you stay. The Soviet Union, the UK and the US. This new international organization will strive to make... Thank you.